No, I knew I that was the truth. <laughs> it's too weird to be made up. <laughs> It is. I, this is how I drink my. This is how I drink. This <laughs> is how I drink. <laughs> chocolate milk. Is it? Yeah. And it makes that noise when you drink chocolate milk. It's a didgeridoo. <laughs> didgeridoo from Australia. Well, actually, this one's from Guitar Center, but they are originated from Australia, and they're great for like sound healing, and they're used in all kinds of like spiritual practices and stuff, and they're really cool, and they're awesome, and they're better than. Well, I, am I lying or am I telling the truth? I used to play the clarinet. I don't even know. It's the truth! But that is a little foreshadow because I'm Jen. And I'm Michael Gamer. And we are playing Two Truths, One Lie. Try and guess which is the lie. Ooh, we're not going to tell you. Secret. Well, no, you have to tell me afterwards after well, yeah. I guess. Yes. But... And whoever gets the most right is the winner. What's a loser have to do? I'm always a fan of eating something weird, but maybe we should do something with hair. Okay. Like what kind of hair? Like either her pink. You would look really beautiful with pink hair. I've always been told that it would go with the color of my eyes. Green hair and green eyes, that's what I always get. Like, okay. You don't be good, Michael. Yeah, that'd be a cute combo. Okay, so the loser has to dye their hair pink. Ready to play? Two truths, one lie. I'm gonna go back to the digital No. Oh, okay, fine. Put it away, right. grab your list. I know you have a list. He always carries a around a list of truths and lies. Mostly the truth, though. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Okay, you go first, and I'm going to try and guess. You guys play along at home. You go number one. Okay. Number one. I've lived in Afghanistan, Croatia, North Carolina. So one of those is a lie. Yes. You live in Afghanistan, Croatia, or where? North Carolina? Mm-hmm. I'm going to say the lie is Croatia. Ding, 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 ding. And what does she get, ladies and gentlemen? She gets a one in the winner's column. That is correct. I've never lived in Croatia. I was in Afghanistan for nine months because I was in the good old Marine Corps and I lived there. And then I was lived in North Carolina because that's where I went to MOS school, Marine o Military Occupational Specialty, where I became an electrical engineer. Whoa, could you electrify something? I can electrify all kinds of stuff. I'm like a uh, magneto except with electricity. All right, let's see if you can catch up. All right, if you know anything about me, you know that I am sometimes a TV host, sometimes on YouTube, sometimes a TV host. So, two truths, one lie. I have interviewed former President Barack Obama, Mario Lopez, Paul Abdul. Two truths, one lie, which is the lie? Oh my gosh, I could totally see you interviewing all those people and I honestly don't know. But I'm I'm gonna say you've definitely interviewed Paul Abdul for whatever reason I feel like that is just makes the most sense. <laughs> I also feel like you've interviewed oh gosh, Mario Lopez or Barack Obama. I'm gonna say Barack Obama is the uh, I wanna say it's the truth, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's a lie. You're correct. Yeah! Ah! I really was worried because I was like, I don't know, she could have interviewed Barack Obama. That would have been random cool, thing. but like, it never happened. This is going to take a turn for the worst. <laughs> so I apologize ahead of time. As an adult, <laughs> sorry, I'm reading this and I'm like, Mike, what have you done to yourself? As an adult, I've peed in the fridge. As an adult, I've peed my pants. As an adult, I've peed on the couch. What? Like, two truths, one lie. You peed in a fridge? You peed on the couch and you peed your pants? I feel like the lie is you peed your pants. You didn't pee on the couch. I didn't pee on the couch. But the <laughs> fridge, I like how the fridge, she's like, you definitely peed on the fridge. Thanks, Jen. You know, I would have just appreciated you just like saying that that was the lie. No, I knew I mean, that was the truth. It's too weird to be made up. Okay.
It's true. It's too weird. When it's too weird, that's how you know. Yeah. That's how you know. Do I even want to ask this story or no? <sighs> Once upon a time, I had, uh, I did things that adults do and I had some beverages and I lived club in soda? a club soda. I was drinking a lot of club soda one night. My buddy told me in the Marine Corps in the barracks that he woke up at two in the morning and I was having an incident <laughs> in the mini fridge. All right, my most embarrassing thing I've ever done is, one of these is a lie. My most embarrassing thing was flashing my brother's girlfriend. Like with your lights? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Someone go on. I just wanted to clarify. No, flashing. Like accidentally, you know, you know. Gotcha, okay, we don't have to go further. Okay, <laughs> or I ran into a pole at school. That's the truth, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jen totally ran into a pole. Okay. Run in my entire class. Or I split my pants in front of my entire class. Okay, you flashed, for sure, that's the truth. <laughs> and then, you? Two of these were super embarrassing things that happened to me, and one was a lie. And you, oh my gosh. You totally split your pants. Never oh, done it. Fishing. Never, ever split my pants. Dang, go with your instinct, Michael. I said, I did run flash. into a pole. I ran into a tether. I was trying to be cute and talk to my <laughs> friends from behind. I turned around. You were trying to talk to a boy. True. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm like a poo. Knocked myself out cold. Did you really? Oh I had a goose God. egg, a shiner, an Easter egg on my head. Have any of you ever walked into a pole or anything? Yeah, like have you ever done you? anything embarrassing like that? Let me know in the comments. The other one, I was home alone. It was the middle of the day. Nobody was supposed to be home ever. My brother didn't even live at home anymore. He was like out, out of the house. He brought his girlfriend home for the very first time to meet the family. And I left, I didn't, I forgot a towel and I was showering. So I was like, oh, nobody's home. I'm just gonna run out and get a towel real quick. Ah, ah, ah. That was my first meeting of my brother's girlfriend ever. Okay, uh, two truths, one lie. I have eaten a spider. I have eaten ants in my cereal, or I have eaten I think the lie is ants in your cereal. I have never eaten a spider. I've never eaten a spider. That I know of. I mean, they say everybody eats a spider, but I've never knowingly eaten. No, a spider. No, you have eaten a spider, so they're all technically true. No, because I because I don't know that I cause just because scientists say that you will have eaten a spider. I don't know that I've eaten a spider. No, he absolutely has eaten a spider. That. Do you think he's eaten a spider? Let me know in the comments. Okay, I know you've eaten a cricket because I've seen you eat yeah, a cricket. You, yeah, you were totally there. And then. The, I was not there for your ants in your pants. So, ants in my pants, ants in the <laughs> cereal, ants in my... So, when I lived on Camp Pendleton in the Marine Corps, there was all these little ants that used to come into my barracks room, and it didn't matter where I put my cereal, they would find it. And so, I got tired of moving it, and I was like, I'm not going to throw away this cereal. And so, it was just these little ants, and so, I'd pour a bowl of cereal, there'd be ants in there, I'd pour the milk, and I ate it. Now, I don't even like to kill bugs, but I was totally eating a live ant. So technically I get the point because you've eaten a spider, even if you don't admit it. I, no, I don't get the point, no. You're down two. <laughs> You're down, you have one point. You have one point. Okay, whatever. So I'm gonna do an easy one. I have traveled to Qatar, Australia, Malta. Which one's the lie, people? And where have you guys traveled to? Let me know some countries, like your favorite place you've ever gone to. You have traveled to Qatar Truth. I don't know, you tell you me. You have traveled to Malta Truth. You have never traveled to Australia. You sure about that? Positive. You super positive? Super positive. Fine, you're right. Why do you know me so well? <sighs> Feels good to win. <laughs> it's like a part of Australia with me always. Yeah. I dressed as a woman in the eighth grade. I dressed as a woman at 29, year, at 29 years old for Halloween. I dressed as, as a lady for my mom's retirement party. Two truths, one lie. Which one's the lie? Uh, the lie is you dressed as a girl. There's eighth grade, 29 years old, mom's retirement. 
I'm gonna say uh, 29. <laughs> ah, how am I getting all these wrong? In eighth grade, I dressed as a lady because we were doing some debate and I was got the card of playing the woman, so I came as a woman for the school project. At 29, um, I dressed as, uh, me and another person dressed as salt and pepper, and I dressed as salt. I did not dress in drag to my mom's retirement party, but I totally would have. It's totally up my alley. Actually, no, I wouldn't do that because my mom would be like, what are you doing? <laughs> if you dress as a woman, it's fine. Wherever yeah. you want to. I just didn't do it on my mom's retirement. Okay, here's a juicy one. Okay, well, it's not like crazy, crazy. You can't say it's juicy and then that's Well, I mean, it's, it's juicy in like a weird way, but it's not like, anyway. I'll just tell you, okay. I once went skydiving. Okay. I once did a backflip in a plane. Why are you looking at me like that? That was... Uh... And I once flew in a lawn chair with wings. Two truths, one lie, which is the lie? Uh, you did a backflip in a plane, you flew in a lawn chair as a plane, and skydiving's a lie. Or is it? It is. Well, okay. Technically, they're all kind of partially true. Jim. I did do a backflip in a plane. Okay. That happened. I also flew in a lawn chair with wings, like way too high. I probably shouldn't have been flying in. Because <laughs> that's what normal people do. I've flown in just about everything. Third thing, I've been indoor skydiving. No, it doesn't count. But I've never been real deal skydiving. I am so good. I know her me. so well. I know. What's with this? All right. We're moving on to the next and final, okay, of mine. Let's see. This is the last question. Um, I am a certified minister. Like, what does that mean? You can marry people? That's exactly what it means. Okay, cool. I, I guess it would actually be ordained, but... I so if they want to get those people right there watching, if they want to get married right now, you can marry them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You want to get married, just let me know. Let him know in the comments let if you comments. want him to marry you. And, well, not me marry you. Like, marry <laughs> you and whoever your person or is. Or just get married to you. I am a certified electrical engineer. I don't know if that one's true. Or I'm a certified badass. That one's a, that one's a big fat lie. <laughs> well, I know for a fact that you were like an engineerologist in the Just Marines. Such thing as an engineerologist. <laughs> in the Marines. That's what your specialty training's in. And I also it's a real know, job, okay? Well, yeah, I know. Specialty training. That's why like I called you here real. because I need you to change a light bulb for me. I'm just kidding. She's not kidding. Kind of. Okay, and then I also know. Hi, Bond. Bond says hello. <laughs> bye, bye. Come here. My cat's putting her two cents in. But I also know that you're an ordained minister and want to marry those people. I want to marry all of the people. I just want to marry everybody. Can we all get but married? But the other one is not true. Okay. You're not. Ding, 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 bad ding, to ding, the bone. ding, 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 ding. Sorry. Hashtag not sorry. All right, so that was fun. Thanks for hanging out. I gotta go. <laughs> that was it for now. But let us know some truths and some lies about you. Mostly truths because those are. Yeah, tell me a truth and a lie about you, and we're gonna try and play and guess. Okay, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe, and that way we can make more fun videos. But it was, it was fun, I didn't have to do like a punishment or anything, that's cool. Okay, I'm back, I can't believe you actually made me do this. That's life, Jen, you know, when you lose, you lose. I have pink hair, people! I hope you can find work. Right if you get work. I think that's what they say. I'll probably get work as a clown. Do I? Do you guys like my pink hair? Let me know in the comments. Should I keep it or should I go back to blonde? I think he should dye his hair pink. I didn't lose. Bye. Wah, 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 wah.